Hey everybody out there in YouTube and Facebook, this is Chris Nicholson and right now I am very, very, very excited. Well, as you can see here, I have my um, Casio PX5S Pervia Pro and I tell you this, this is definitely the piano to buy. I mean, if you want a good stage piano that doesn't weigh that much, and also it takes batteries, it takes six AA batteries, lasts four hours, this is unbelievable. Unbelievable digital piano ever. Any sound that you want, it has most of the same sounds as the um, XWP1. I mean, it's to the T, it's one of the best. Um, but as you can see here, it says Casio, and over there it says Pervia. And a lot of people's like, what keyboard is that? And I say, okay, it's a PX5S. And they're like, oh, where's the model number? Where's the name and everything? But to fix that now, um, Casio sent me a letter. So this is what I'm really excited about. Casio sent me a, a personalized letter. And usually if you register for Casio, you get this letter. And I'm going to read it to you. And oh my gosh, look at this. Not only did they send me one, but they sent me two PX5S decals. So one I can have in the back of this keyboard and the other I can have in the back of another PX5S when I get it, which I'm planning to actually have two. So here's the letter right over here. And this is July. This is um, actually two weeks ago that I got this letter and I opened it up, took pictures of it, put it back in. I was a little skeptic about putting the decals on. So I'm like, let me do this on camera today and actually, um, you know, show it to you guys. Okay, so July 30th, 2014. So thank you so much for your support of the Casio Privia Pro PX5S. As a special thanks, we've included two PX5S stickers. You could display one on the back of your PX5S. We think it fits best between the USB port and pedal connection, as you can see below, right here. Okay. Also, then it says the second sticker can be placed anywhere you like, such as the back of your laptop, your car, anywhere else that fits. Please see, all right, see, please feel free to send us a picture that we can share directly to me at mmartin at casio.com. And additional here, it says in additional, here is a list of places online. You can go for our additional information and resources for the PX5S, which is Casio Music Forms. And also there is Privia Blog, Privia Pro Blog, and is PX5S Facebook user group, which I'm on. Uh, so I'm part of a member of that. And this website is very important, www.px5s.com. That's the website that I have to see that I didn't even know about. And it's uh, Sincerely Mike Martin, which Mike Martin is... The general manager of marketing Casio America so this is very very excited and this to me is basically a christening um, of this keyboard so without any further ado I'm gonna take one of the PX5S stickers and I think I'm gonna put it just like right here so here we go what I could do take off the bottom. I don't want to bend the sticker at all and I don't want to put any fingerprints on it. That's how it looks right there. And then I can stick it. Oops. It takes some time because you know I'm a perfectionist so I have to get everything right so it doesn't peel off. Because remember, I might be playing in concerts that this is going to be playing in the sun. So let's see. There we go. Just a little bit of wiping it down. Listen to that sound. <laughs> and you know, the main part about it is try to get all the bubbles out. <laughs> so people don't know it's a sticker or anything like that. But it's coming along. Now, since this is white, um, you know, basically white, white pianos, as I know, because I'm in the piano business, is very hard to clean. And 
white keyboards is a little bit too. There's a little bubble right here. Well, there you have it. The PX5S is now offic officially christened. And it's going to look good on stage when I play with this. Now, as I said again, for the other PX5S sticker, that's going to be for my second PX5S. I am definitely getting another one. And um, one's going to be for the studio, and the other one's going to be for playing out for gigs. But it's unbelievable. Now, if you haven't seen this keyboard, I'm sorry that it's turned... Actually, let me see if I could climb over and I could actually show you. That's over here. This is where you can stick your iPhone or your iPad and that has the battery compartment. Mm -hmm. Got the USB connections. Over here, this is over your uh, stage settings right over here. The LCD screen. It's hard to direct this thing, but, and those are all your sounds over here. And right over here, those are all your, basically, um, you know, if you want reverb or, those are all your editing tools right over there. Plus your pitch bend and modulation wheel. On top of that, you get 88 keys. And if you can look closely on the 88 keys, see if I can see in the light, but you see this little grooves in the keys. That is basically an ebony and ivory feel. Now in the price range for a digital piano, you probably, you know, this this price range, which I, I got this real cheap, um, you probably would not get an ebony and ivory feel, except for any Casio keyboards, you know. But yeah, this is it. Let me put this back where it belongs. And as you can see, it's on my grand piano right here. And I tell you this, that PX feels a lot better than my acoustic grand piano. And I'm very happy with it. So that's why I'm getting a second one. So I got to say, thanks again, Mike Martin. This was a pleasure and everything like that. And thank you guys for engineering a very awesome musical instrument. And I can't wait until I see what comes out next. All right, guys. I'm going to take it from here. I'll see ya. Bye.